group of adults were asked how many children they have in their families. The bar graph below shows the number of adults who indicated each number of children. So notice how we have the responses of the number of children along the horizontal axis and the frequency of that response along the vertical axis. Notice how three responded they have zero children, six responded they have one child, five responded they have two children, two responded they have three children, one responded they have four children, and two responded they have five children. We're first asked how many adults were questioned. This would be the sum of the frequencies, which in this case would be three plus six plus five plus two plus one plus two, which equals 19. So now we know that 19 adults were questioned. Next we're asked what percent of adults questioned had five children. Just looking at the bar graph again, notice how two adults responded, they have five children. So because two out of 19 responded they have five children, the fraction of adults that had five children would be two nineteenths. Now that we know the fraction of adults that had five children, we can convert this fraction to a percentage to answer this question. We'll also solve this a second way using a percent proportion. But to convert a fraction to a percent, we first convert to a decimal by dividing, and then we convert the decimal to a percent. To convert the fraction to a decimal, we want to divide two by 19. So using the calculator, notice that two divided by 19 if we run to three decimal places, it will be approximately 0 0.105. And now to convert to a percentage, we multiply by 100 and add a percent sign, which is equivalent to moving the decimal point to the right two places and adding a percent sign. So notice how either way we get a percent, which would be approximately 10.5%. So if we round to one decimal place, again our answer would be 10.5 percent. The percent sign is already here, so we just enter 10.5. So this would be one way to answer this question. Let's also set this up as a percent proportion. Remember a percent is a number compared to 100. So as a proportion, which is where we have two rates or ratios equal to each other, if two out of the sample of 19 said they had five children, then two is to 19 as what number is to 100, so we'll say P is to 100. So this number here, P, compared to 100, would be the percent of adults that responded they had five children. So to solve this proportion, we would cross multiply and solve for P. So we'd have 19 times P must equal two times 100. So 19P is equal to two times 100 is 200, dividing both sides by 19. Let's go back to the calculator. 200 divided by 19, notice is approximately 10.5. 10.5 over 100 is equal to 10.5%. Now we could also solve this using a percent equation, but I think the two methods we discussed here are probably the most intuitive. I hope you found this helpful.